So what is up guys, it is 63Z here, and this is my video of who won E3, which conference won, was it PlayStation, was it Xbox, was it Bethesda, was it Ubisoft, was it EA, Nintendo won't be in this purely because of the fact that I don't think they'll win, plus I don't even know if I'm going to watch it yet, if I do watch it there will be a video of my favourite games from that, but it won't be in this video here, so thank you. Which conference won? I don't know, a lot of the conferences had solid games. The, if you wanted to go from it from by like time to solid, to solid games wise, Bethesda had the the fastest conference and the most solid games in it. But in saying that, it wasn't really that amazing. It was it was a good conference, but it wasn't something that was like oh, EA had a really good conference, but again, it wasn't anything. You saw Star Wars coming. You saw Battlefield One coming. It's as simple as that. We didn't see Anthem coming, which is one thing that both EA and Microsoft had up their sleeves compared to the other conferences. EA didn't have an amazing conference. Yes, Bethesda didn't have an amazing conference. It had some good games in it. That is for damn sure. It had some really good games. The Dishonored 2 DLC, Quake, Evil Within, Wolfenstein, all great games. It wasn't a blowing your mind conference. I was, that whole whole conference, I'll be honest, I was like, oh my god, what the fuck am I watching? Oh my god, I was on the edge of, like, well, I was on the edge of my seat. I was lying in bed while watching it. But I was, if I was on a seat, I'd be on its edge. It was as simple as that. But it wasn't blowing my mind. That's the thing. Same with Ubisoft. It wasn't blowing my mind. That's the only problem with it. Like, it had some good games in it for sure. I, I knew Assassin's Creed would be coming. I knew Far Cry would be coming. I, the only thing that really like kind of went was Beyond Good and Evil, and that's not enough to really warrant a whole conference winning. Um, so EA's conference went for about an hour-ish, uh, not including excess game times that they showed to show off for half an hour of Star Wars, half an hour of Battlefront. Bethesda went for 35, Ubisoft went for about an hour and 10, I think. Sony's went for just about an hour, like almost dead on an hour. Microsoft's went for like an hour and 20 minutes, I believe, or an hour and 15. So it's really down to which was better, Sony or Microsoft. And that's what it usually always comes down to, PlayStation or Xbox. It's usually what it comes down to here. Now, let's have a look at the best titles, in my opinion, from the Xbox conference, right? So the best ones from the Xbox conference, Anthem, Shadow of War, Life is Strange 2, the, the announcement of Xbox One X, a brand new console. Assassin's Creed, Metro Exodus, State of Decay, Crackdown 3. These are all games that were really solid games, really good games, and they were just like, oh yeah. I, I was so blown away by the fact that Life is Strange was in there. I was like, oh my god. I didn't know there was going to be a Life is Strange 2. I really, really, really didn't. I didn't see Metro coming. I really liked the look of that game. I love Shadow of War. I love Assassin's Creed. I love, like, just, ah, Sony's conference. Let's have a look at Sony's conference. Their best games, in my opinion, as well. God of War, straight up, God of War. Days Gone, amazing game. Uncharted's DLC, Shadow of Colossus. Don't even know which one that is yet. That's just a remake, or it's like a DLC sort of thing. Call of Duty, as well as their Spider-Man game. Now, that's not a blowing your mind sort of thing. We knew God of War was coming from last year. We knew a Destiny 2 was coming from leaks earlier this year. We knew Days Gone was coming. We knew Uncharted was coming. And we knew Cold was coming. We might not have known that Spider-Man was coming or the Shadow of Colossus was coming. Those are the only two things that would really just go boom on your mind. That list there is a lot shorter than the list of Xbox stuff. The Xbox stuff, I had to shorten down like a lot of what ones I was like, oh my god. There was a lot of good games in Xbox. Pure size of games. There was over 40 different titles released for Xbox, as well as 20 of them were Xbox exclusive. Now, that's not even involving the fact that PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds is going to be exclusively brought to Xbox as well. There's so many of these other games that Xbox did so much better than Sony this year. I really do think that last year, last year Sony won very min minutely, very minutely did Sony win last year. The year before that, it was about even playing field. It was hard to tell who would win on 2015s, and I didn't really pay attention to 2014s. This year's conference was easily won by Microsoft. Sony easily got a second place, 100% easily got a second place winning, but for sheer fact of there was so much content, so much great games, a brand new console, 
everything like that was released for it. There's no way you can say that Sony won and be so sure about yourself. Microsoft did such a great job, and that's why I think Microsoft won this year's E3 conference. They blew it out of the park. They were the longest, had like over 40 titles, and I don't even know if any of the other, we don't know the exact amount of the other ones released, but I don't think they would have been over 20. The fact is that Microsoft easily doubled three of the other conferences. Easily doubled. The only one they might not have doubled is Sony. In saying that, Sony came second, 100%. The next three, which one came third, fourth, and fifth? I think EA came third. EA came third with their Star Wars and Battlefront, as well as Anthem teaser, was just next level. Bethesda, they kind of lost it. Even though I love Dishonored DLC. I 100% want Dishonored DLC. Actually, no, 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 no. I'll take that back. I think fourth is Bethesda. There's the Dishonored DLC. I got kind of confused with the other games. I thought Evil Within and Wolf and Quake were on the other one. Dishonored 2 DLC, Evil Within 2, Wolfenstein 2, as well as Quake. These are four games that are really great games, and they're all, I think they blew it really, really well for their conference. They did a really good job, and they came fourth. Ubisoft came last, it, despite the fact that they had a lot of Assassin's Creed in there. Far Cry, and Beyond Good and Evil, as well as that out of nowhere Skull and Bones. Like, those are four really good games as well. But two of the games we didn't know about, granted they both were like blowing your mind, and the other two were really well-known games. I think Bethesda did a better job at also keeping it at a smaller time. Bethesda did a great job with the games they had, and they made it a lot more fun with Bethesda Land and the way they put it out. And this is my Who Won E3 2017. Xbox, then Sony, then EA, Bethesda, and then Ubisoft. That's my like ranking for this year's thing. Tell me what you think down below. If you think it's any different, make sure make sure to go check out my top like game video, top release videos in all the other conferences. They will be down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. Support my channel. Go subscribe. Hit that little bell. Leave a thumbs up or a like. Doesn't really matter because they're both the exact same anyway. Go go follow my Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, as well as go check out my Twitch because I'll be streaming a lot. I can check it out, boys. Go follow all my socials. Go check it out. Follow me around. I'll love to see you in streams. I'll love to like just interact with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Next is number six, Crackdown 3. Uh, that's right. 5, 1, Crackdown 3. Terry Crews is a fucking gem. Yeah. I'd play yeah, this purely because of him. I don't know how much I would play, but I would play it.